I want to answer a question because it's the question that we most get asked. And that question is, or is concerning, why the profession, the institutions of American ballet, let's say, but I think that's true for um, international companies as well, why are we not working together? Because I know for, for fans of ballet, it makes perfect sense that I have a particular talent and experience that I've shown, uh, a result of work, and there's always a need, you know, for choreographers, for, for high-level artists and educators. So it, it seems like a natural marriage, let's say. So I'm going to try to explain. I can give you only my perspective. You know, really, you'd, you'd have to ask everyone, all parties, if you want to get to what might be the truth. But to be honest, I don't think that it's any more complicated than we just... We inhabit different perspectives about the same subject. So we're all doing this thing called ballet. And I have a particular perspective that over the last 20 plus years, my imagination and experience has, has cooked up this perspective that I now inhabit. And so I'm pursuing this, this subscriber community and building up a media company and um, wholeheartedly, you know. So I want you to understand that I'm putting absolutely everything, myself and my family, all of our passion, all of our love, all of our time and energy and thought into you, into developing this um, subscriber community. So we're going to give you everything. I mean, absolutely everything there is to give. And this will continue on until I'm not here anymore. <clears throat> so that's a decision I've made based on all this experience that I've had, you know, and my imagination sort of cooking up the best way forward that I think to fulfill my vision of what ballet can be based on what I know ballet is. Okay, now I can't speak specifically to the perspective of the profession, the institutions. And the reason I can't is because I've never been part of them. And maybe not everyone realizes this. I've never been part of any of the institutions of ballet in the world. I've, I've, uh, I've brushed shoulders with them. I've done projects, mainly in Russia, right? I, I did a bunch of choreography in the Bolshoi Academy in different places around Moscow. So I've worked with people, but I've never been part of the institution. I've never been employed or, or, or anything like that. And the, the only brush with the institutions I had in America was, of course, you know, working with Missy Copeland. And, and that was a deal between she and I. It was just two people. I didn't really have anything to do with ABT. I mean, I didn't directly have anything to do with ABT or any, any other organization or institution in New York or anywhere in the country. So I've been on my own kind of forever, and it remains that way now. And I don't know, maybe it's just, um, life has a momentum and a timing. And perhaps the fact that I've just been independent the whole time, that just the momentum of my independence, I don't know, puts off a vibe of, you know, I'm just staying independent. I don't know, you know, I, they would have to tell me what they think and feel. And I'm open to having that conversation, by the way. So I guess I'm, I'm giving you sort of a, a long answer to a short question, which is, um, I think we just occupy different perspectives about things. And it's not that there couldn't be a meeting of the minds. I think there could be. My point is we'd have to talk for that to happen. And at the moment, we're not talking, you know. I, I mean, again, it's like I, I said in another podcast, maybe you've watched it yet, maybe you haven't. Um, at the moment, I don't see any indication of interest <laughs> from, the per, from the institutions that they want or are in a position to want to talk to me about something. You know, I have no idea Okay, that's not true. I have an idea of what they're going through. I mean, I think I, I understand the situation they're in. 
but I can't speak to it because I don't know for a fact and we're not talking. So, look, I understand your concern. I understand your point of view totally and, and your feelings about it. But to give you a straight answer, I would have to talk to the, by the way, new leadership, the new leadership of the companies and, and just find out where, where they're coming from and what their perspective is and if they have needs and wants, what those are and if I could uh, help out in some way. Now, some people have reached out independently over the last, let's say, year, and my answer is always the same. You know, I, the, the question is, can you help us? And my answer is, is precisely, I'm happy to help when and where I can, you know. So that's been my answer for the last year or so, right? And that remains my answer now. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all I have to say on that. So we'll see. You know, I'm always open to everything, but for now, we're focusing on, uh, we're completely devoted to you, really, but in, more specifically to growing our subscriber community and then building whatever you and we want based on that. Okay.